Teddy grams and other box cookies are very popular when it comes to toddlers. Here's a recipe to make your own with no preservatives or artificial colors. We'll start with honey flavor. First, you'll need to gather your ingredients. Mix the dry ingredients in a stand mixer on low. This can be done by hand if you don't have a mixer. In a separate bowl, add the honey to the melted butter and stir until smooth. Add the vanilla to the mixture. Add the honey butter vanilla mixture to the dry ingredients and stir. Slowly add water until the dough comes together nicely. You'll know you've added enough when it starts to become dough-like. Loosely cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate for 15 to 20 minutes until it's firm enough to work with. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Flour a flat surface so the dough doesn't stick and roll with a rolling pin until the dough is about a quarter of an inch thick. Use your favorite cookie cutters. I used fondant cutters because they tend to be smaller. One of our viewers got creative and even used a bottle cap. Line your cookie sheet with parchment paper and bake for about 8 to 10 minutes until the bottom is golden brown. Depending on the size of your cutter, this recipe can make a couple hundred cookies. The chocolate ones are just as easy. You'll need a few different things, including cocoa and cold milk. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a medium-sized bowl, whisk together the dry ingredients. Cut the butter into the mixture using two knives until it's mixed well. In a separate bowl, combine the honey and two tablespoons of milk. Stir until the honey dissolves completely. Add the liquid to the dry ingredients and stir lightly until the dough comes together. Add the additional milk slowly. Stop when it becomes dough-like. Roll out onto a flat surface just like the honey cookies and use your favorite cookie cutters. Line your cookie sheet with parchment paper and bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until they begin to smell like chocolate. These can be done in large batches and frozen for an everyday snack or even make a great party snack to wow your guests. In case you missed it, check out our previous video on how to make homemade cheese crackers.